Hey guys, welcome to Lil Mal's Advanced Weapon Tactics. Today we are going to be testing the Shanghai Spy Sword yet again. Yeah, and today we got a bunch of tests, destruction tests against our Shanghai Spy Sword. We're going to see just how powerful a $10 sword can be. So, uh, is it a crappy wall hanger, or is it going to, you know, destroy our test? You've seen this before in action. So, um, yeah, this is a very good blade, and we're going to be testing it on our new main hands. So those new main hands are going to be really awesome, guys. And, uh, as well as a soup can, and we're also going to be shooting it with a 22 caliber pellet gun. So we're going to see just what this can withstand. I'm your host, Little Mal. Thanks for watching, guys. Little Mal presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the weapons review show that tests the lethality and destruction of various cultural artillery. Will this week's weapon be powerful enough to destroy our new Ming heads? Find out now. Do not try this at home. Alrighty, so we got our new Ming heads, and uh, it did squish a little bit here because the way I had it rested. I'll fix that in the new ones. But anyways, this is uh, just the first prototype of the new Ming head and uh, inside the Ming head will be one of these skulls. So uh, there's a skull in there and we built the silicone uh, skin on top of it to make the skull. And on the inside there is a lot of blood. So we're gonna see a lot of blood and destruction when we strike one of these. So uh, I'm really excited to test our new Ming heads. What about you, Matt? What would you have to say about the new Ming head? Oh yeah, definitely aesthetically, they look very, very pleasing. Um, I'm very interested to test these out um, and see how the silicone reacts to our strikes because it, you know it will simulate more of the uh, you know the flesh feeling or the flesh type yeah, of thing. Yeah, and also these skulls, they're more realistic than say a coconut. I know I see a lot of YouTubers use coconuts as targets, but I don't really think coconuts resemble that of a human skull. So when we test them, this will be more of a analog of a skull. It'll be more realistic, and uh, I think they're pretty realistic. The skin is very, very realistic. It's similar to the, um, the skin that we used before. Um, it's both silicone. But the thing I like about this is with ballistic shell, you can actually put your finger right through it. And uh, with this, you can't. It's kind of like real skin, you know. You can't, you can't really deform it without cutting it. So uh, I think it'll be a good uh, analog for flesh itself. And uh, I'm just excited to see these new Ming heads and what they can do. All right, here we've got Little Mao with the Shanghai Spy Sword. He's going to go ahead and whack up that new Ming head. All right, give me a countdown, Matt. E R Sword. Sword. Oh. So we see a big, big cut wound in the skull right here. I think this is exactly like what a human would have done in real life. It cracked, it peeling off the skin and it cracked into the skull. This is probably 100% a kill. What would you have to say about this, Matt? Oh yeah, I'm definitely impressed. I like the way our new skulls are testing out our weapons already, and I think this definitely better simulates a real human skull and real human flesh. All right, we got Matt with the Shanghai Spy Sword here, and he's gonna test our new Ming heads and see what he thinks. E, R, San. San. So, I don't even think Matthew hit it, honestly, that hard. But this blade is so good, even for $10, it's able to cut right into the skull. What do you think about that strike that you just did, Matt? Yeah, that was a very, very good strike. Went straight through the silicone, right into the head. We still haven't gotten any bleeding yet, but we are getting some pretty impressive strikes here. All right, so here we got little Mao. He's gonna go in for a stab with the Shanghai Spy Sword. All right, so um, this is pretty thin and it is only stainless. I do not want to check the tip, but we're going to see to test this out. This is a destruction test of a $10 sword, so we're going to give it all our all. E R sword. What would you have to say about the stab wound of the Shanghai Spy? Oh, well, this is definitely impressive. I like how we've got the sort of, well, it's not really the blood, but this going on. Went right through the other side, very impressive. I've always been impressed with the Shanghai Spy Sword and you know, it is only a $10 sword. And it's not really meant to be a stabbing weapon, but it did do some pretty devastating stabbing damage. Yeah, and the tip didn't break. I don't think it, oh, it might have bent a little bit at the tip right here, if you can see it kind of bent a little bit out of place. But that's nothing I can't hammer down. And I thought I would maybe chip off because it's, you know, 10 bucks, but wow. That's pretty good. I'm going to do another stab. E. R. Son. So we did cut into the skull. I think the first one was much more impressive. But 
again, these heads are very, very tough. I think it's so the first one was a bit of a stronger of a strike, but I think it's you know a pretty good example of what this sword can do. For ten bucks, you can't beat it. Um, yeah, and this skull is just getting destroyed. I think these are very, very realistic. What about you, Matt? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think these are way better than our old heads. Uh, I'm gonna kind of go for one more strike, and then we'll see how the head is, and then we'll let Matthew finish it off. So uh, give me a countdown, Matt. E R sword. So, so yeah, it, that is 100% a kill, right down through the skull. Wow, that is devastating, Matt. Very you got nice a lot strike. of fracturing right here. This guy is 100% dead. I think most of them were most kill of it, shot. Yeah, definitely. This was definitely a kill shot right here. The stab, I mean, come on, like, wow, that is crazy. All right, Matt, why don't you go ahead and finish off this skull? Just keep hitting it until it gets really fucked up and destroyed. All right. Oh. One more, one more. All right, so we got some bleeding from that devastating carnage right there. Matt, show us around the skull and tell us what happened. All right, so we got some hemorrhaging going on in here. Um, first off, I went for the strikes on top of the head. This guy's, this guy's scalp is completely gone. You can see right in there. Yeah, you can the see. The skull's all right crumpled in. That's up. The, that's the blood bag. Wow. This guy is definitely done. I think all of those were kill shots. If not, he was down on the floor, he was bleeding out, he was gonna die in a matter of minutes. So we got the Shanghai Spy Sword. Yeah, this cord wrap's coming off. It's really crappy, I'm just gonna rewrap it, but the sword itself is pretty good. Now I see Mak Josi do a lot of uh, cans where he can just chop the can right all the way down through. I'm gonna see if we can do it with the Shanghai Spy Sword. Keep in mind this is $10, but mainly I wanted to, what I wanted to test about with this is if it is gonna nick the blade. So uh, why don't we give a countdown here, man? E R sword. So I kind of veered off a little bit, but it chopped right through there. Wow. Nice. Let's do this again. Let's try to get it all the way through. E R sword. R sword. Okay, so I think from the force of the blade, it's just kind of going off when it hits. It goes on, but uh. That's pretty devastating. Why don't you zoom into there? I don't know if you can see that. There's very, very small nicks. It's nothing that you couldn't sharpen out. So that's pretty damn crazy. All right, so we got the B-Min Kodiak times two. And uh, we're gonna be shooting the Shanghai Spy Sword. I seen Scully Grim Nelson do this with one of his swords. Uh, but with a real firearm, but we don't have a real firearm to shoot test in our backyard and that'd be really illegal. But, so we're going to do a pellet gun today and uh, we're going to see how and what kind of damage it will do to the Shanghai Spy Sword when it gets shot. And please do not try this at home, this is highly dangerous. Leave it to us to do this and uh, we're going to see what kind of damage it will do to the sword. Alright, so we're going to be taking a look at what the Beeman Kodak did to our Shanghai Spy Sword. So, if you take a look, there is where it made impact. It didn't really do that much. It scraped it up a little bit, but really, really very minimal damage. And if you want to see this bad boy tested some more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, and leave us a comment. Alright guys, so that concludes this video. and. Uh, I would stay away from stabbing with this, even though it is pretty good uh, at stabbing. I would just stay away from it because the metal is very, very thin and it did bend like I had expected. Especially when I stuck it in here to uh, go ahead and shoot it, I bent it even more. Uh, but it should be able to bend back theoretically, but again, this is only $10. So what a $10 blade can do is pretty amazing and uh, it's definitely much better than a wall hanger. As we stated in our previous review of the Shanghai Spy Sword, 
you have this cord wrap is crap, but uh, you can always put on your own cord wrapping. But uh, this survived all of our destruction very, very well. And uh, I'm very, very happy with it and what it had done in our, um, our testing today. But what would you have to say about our Ming heads? Because we, this is the first time we actually tested them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely like the Ming heads. I feel like they simulate the real human head a lot better. And I really like the design that you did with them. Adam spent a lot of time, Little Mouse spent a lot of time on them, perfecting them. And I think they turned out really well. Yeah, they turned out really awesome. Um, they're really realistic. Wow, I'm just yeah. surprised how well they turned out. And uh, it's not too harsh on the blade. Um, at least even this cheap blade, it wasn't too harsh on the blade. Um, but I think it would definitely give them more, because in the past we used coconuts. And like I've said, I've seen other YouTubers use, use coconuts, but I don't think that is really realistic. So I think our new skull analog heads are perfect to test our new um, analog. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, we've got a lot of new videos coming out for you. And uh, we're going to be testing a lot of new Ming heads. I got 20 of them made. So I might be even sending, about, sending a couple of them out to other YouTubers as well. But on our next episode, we are going to be testing the Nepalese Kukri. So uh, this is pretty cool. And I'm, uh, I'm excited to test it and see what it can do against our Ming head. Yeah, so, same uh, here. Yeah, Very excited make to sure test you guys, this thing out. Make sure you guys comment, rate, share, and subscribe our videos. And uh, thank you guys. I'm happy to make them. And uh, I hope you liked watching. Thanks for watching.